are friends that live within the internet. My name is John and in this video we will be continuing on the Jamstack Highway. So what we're going to be doing in this video in particular is we're going to be getting our next JS application and we're going to be making the 404 page work. Now, if you've seen the previous videos, you will know that we'll be hosting our website within Netlify. So in order for our 404 page to work and the Netlify routing to not break everything, we're also gonna have to do some additional config within Netlify. So I'll show you how to do all of that. What we're gonna be doing is using the Next.js image. So you'll learn a little bit about that. Also, at the end of the video, I'll show you how you can create a static maintenance page and how you can host that within Netlify. So when we're doing our production releases, we can have a much smoother process because we can just put a maintenance page up and then people can see that. So if that all sounds good for you, if you're in for some learnings, hopefully today it will be a very easy and quick video because I'm slightly hungover and I want to make it short. If you haven't come across my videos before, my name is John. I do weekly YouTube videos on productivity, development, Jamstack, all that sort of tech goodness. So be an absolute legend, hit that subscribe button right now. Otherwise, assuming you've done that, let's crack on with some work. We're starting off within our next JS application. Now, if you're new to this series, this is the application that we've been slowly building up throughout the entirety of the series. If you want to get the source code for it, you can download it from my GitHub linked below. So as we know, we're using Next.js to create pages or the routing we've done auto magically for us. So to create a 404 page, we need to create the special 404.js. Now, because we're using some images, we haven't covered images yet. So what we're gonna do is import and then image. And it's gonna be from next slash image. Then we can do import head from next head. So we covered this in the last one. So the head API is how we're gonna add metadata. Now the name of the component that we're gonna create isn't too important as long as we're returning something. So I'm gonna call mine custom 404. And then it's going to be a functionless component. And then before I forget, this is the one which always catches me out. I need to export default custom 404. Just make sure that's there. Now to spare you the pain of me copying everything in and typing it, I will just do a simple copy and paste and go over the important bits. Now, as you can see, I'm using the head API here. This is was covered in the last video. This is just gonna add some metadata onto the page. So we're just gonna call this the 404 page. Now, as you can see, we've also got the image. Now this is a Next.js image component. It's super simple to use. I won't go into too much detail. You define an image, you put a source, you put an alt, you put a width and a height, job done, you'll render an image. That's all we need to do for this page. Now, as you can see here, we've got media.giphy.com. And if we try to run this component as is, we're gonna get a problem. And the problem is, is that we haven't allowed this domain. So what we need to do is in the root folder, do a next.config.js. In here, we want to do a module dot x and then it's just a equal bracket and then it's just going to be an images perfect if it's spelled correct and then in our images it's going to be another object and in here we're going to have something called domains this is going to be an array and then in here we're going to allow our media dot giphy dot com perfect now if we open up our terminal Close this down, do an npm run dev. Hopefully you can see that on the screen, just npm run dev. Ooh, we've got an error. So modules is not defined. And that is because it should be a module. So module exports equals, and then let's rerun npm run dev. This looks a bit more promising. Our web page looks like it's loading. Let's do a click and open it up. Now let's see what happens when we type in bit of crap. As you can see, our 404 page is, is now kicked in. So what we're gonna do now is push this to Netlify. And the problem is when we push this into Netlify, the Netlify routing will kick in and our 404 page will not work. So we'll figure out how we can deal with that in the next section. Okay, so we've created a commit within our master branch. We've pushed that into GitHub. Netlify automatically picks up those GitHub pushes and it started the deployment. However, Netlify has failed. Oh no, panic, ah! And if we have a look at the image on the page, what we can see here is we've got this 
image optimization using Next.js default loader is not compatible with the Next export. And this is because we're creating a static website from our build, the Next image doesn't work out of the box. So you actually have to add in a little bit more config. So I thought I'd throw this in for you just so you didn't get caught out yourself. So all we need to do now is go back to our website, go into our Next config .js, and then here we're just going to type in a loader and then from here it's just imgix and then we're also going to put path and we're going to keep the path blank but then this should fix that image error now as i was saying netlify might also have some issues with some redirects and our 404 page might not always work properly so to get around that and to be super safe what we can do is update our 404 parsing so open up your netlify tomel as you can see it right here now, if you remember, Netlify Tommel is where we put all of our instructions that tell Netlify what to do when a build kicks off. So as you can see, we have our build command, which is publishing our website. And we're uh, deciding where the default out directory is. There's another plugin you can use, and it's called Redirects. So if you need to do any 301 redirects, any 404 redirects, anything like that, you can do it all in here within Netlify with this simple command. So what we're going to do is just do from, and then it's just going to be a dot star. So this is going to get any unknown page we're going to then map it to the 404 page which is 404 and then the status which is the status code it's also going to be 404. now all i need to do is do a git add i'm going to do a git commit dash dash amend how you push to your source code is up to you and i'll just do a git push origin master with a force flag and obviously some people might not like using the force flag however i'm lazy and i'm doing it now if we go back into our next device what we should see is a new build being kicked off hopefully we can see that perfect now the next thing we're going to do is talk about this maintenance branch that i've been banging on about so to create a maintenance branch as you can see here everything's getting pushed is from the master branch what we want to do is create a brand new branch, we're going to call it maintenance, and then we want all of the builds that we push to our maintenance branch to pop up here. And then what we can do is use that as the master live website branch. So in order to have two branches appear in Netlify, what we want to do is go into the site overview. Very nice. And then we're going to go to the site settings. Also very nice. Then we're going to go down to our build and our deployment. So in build and deployment, we're going to carry on to our deploy contexts. As you can see this one right here, we're going to do our edit settings. And then when we've got this branch deploys, just do let me add individual branch. We're then going to do main tenants, add branch name, click on that one. As you can see, there's a little cross, so it's added. Click save. So now whenever we push a new branch to the maintenance, we're going to be able to see it within our next JS trigger deployments. And if we go back to our deploys, hopefully our production branch is now pushed. As you can see, all our images have been fixed. Beautiful. We can do our preview deploy. And we're going to go to our website. Typing in any old nonsense gets the 404 page. Beautiful. So let's create this maintenance page and wrap the video up. The first step in creating this maintenance page is creating a brand new branch called maintenance within Git. So what we're going to do is Git check out B maintenance cool and then in here we're going to go to our file explorer so if we open up our application now I want to keep my git folder I want to keep my style CSS and I want to keep my Netlify tunnel apart from that I want to delete everything else because we're just creating a static page now, if I go back within my Visual Studio, I can just do an index HTML. So this is going to be our maintenance page. I'm now going to just put Emma in to do some shortcuts. I'm just going to call this maintenance page. And then let's just copy some paste in a few times just to prove it works. And then within our Netlify Tommel, we're going to get rid of our redirects because we don't need that. And we don't have any commands or we don't have any output directory. So we'll just make sure that's blank. And then we can just do a git add. And then we can do a git commit m say init again. And then git push origin maintenance force push. And then this should trigger off a build within our Netlify. 
So if we go in here, you can see that a build just kicked off right there. Beautiful. Do a refresh. We've got a building. Now, as you can see, things are building along because it's static. It should just go live straight away. <coughs> Ooh, sorry, my voice again. Now, if we do a preview deployment, you can see that we have this page. And then all we need to do is just go publish deploy. And then can you see here we've got this button which says lock publishing to this deploy. Click on that as well. Stop also publishing. Now, if we go to our website, which is this one here, you can now see that we've got our maintenance page up. And this is how we can switch between a maintenance page and our live production site. So let's go back to our Next.js quickly. Now, as you can see, we have our master branch, which is down here. Now I wanted to publish deploy, click publish, unlock publishing. So start auto publishing again. Now, if I go to my website, when I refresh, you can see my website is back. And that is how it's so super simple with a Nextlify to jump between a static proper page and a maintenance page. So as you can see in this video, we've done some really cool stuff. We've got our 404 page working. We've got a cool maintenance page. So when we're doing our deploys, our release process is easy. And that is it for this video. And that concludes the end of another video. As I'm hoping you can see, we are making some great progress on our Jamstack mastery mission. Yeah, that's a tongue twister. Now, what we want to do in the next video is look at Contentful in a bit of a deeper dive. So we're going to start looking at things like how you can create a development environment, how you can do things like preview. Also, we're going to think about how we can hook up our Next.js website with Contentful in a little bit more detail. So that's going to be super cool. Hope you're really excited about it. Again, please leave any thoughts below. If you haven't already because you're some sort of numb nuts, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Not only that will make you a legend, you'll hopefully learn something really cool and interesting as well. So hit subscribe. If you want to do me a massive solid and you want to help me um, trick YouTube and share my video to more people, hit that like button because I would also very much appreciate that. Also, I keep forgetting, sign up to my weekly newsletter. It comes out every Sunday. It's just packed with full of useful content and links that I find interesting that week. It's all about web development. There's no spam. You can unsubscribe to it. So I recommend you do that. You can find the link to that below. Anyway, I hope you found massive value from this video. I hope you're having an amazing day out there and happy coding.